What's his name? Edward Robert. Uh, I just wanted to look at him. Excuse me, I'm late. you say? I want my baby. No, no, you get away from me. He is not yours. He is my baby! I want him back! Give me my baby! I want my baby! Give me my baby! Give me my baby! I'm taking it! Grace? Yeah, it's Bonnie Moreland. Is my husband there? It's important. He's gone for the... Oh, never mind. Is, it, is this Mr. Dominic's office? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, can't you get him for me? Mr. Dominic. Excuse me. Bonnie Moreland just called. There's a woman at her house harassing her. Claims it's her baby.
Bonnie. Bonnie. Is she still out there? What's wrong? Did you see her? Who out there? For God's sake, what happened? Robert, at the mall, there was this woman. I was just putting Edward into the car, and she started screaming that he was her baby. Oh, honey, honey, come on, calm down. <gasps> honey, she couldn't know that. They wouldn't give her our name. What if they did, though? What if she was his mother? She could have followed me for Mr. Dominic's. Did you call him? Yeah, and he never called back. Take it easy, take it easy. It's over. It's over. She can't find us. She was... She was here at the door. All right, all right, all right. Calm down. I'll take care of it. What's going? Just take a look around and check. What are you going to tell her? If she's out there, tell her she's made a mistake. It's not her baby. Go back inside. It's freezing. There's no one out here. Some seek it. There will always be those who ask nothing more of a city than to leave them alone, to forget them, to give them a place to disappear. And the city does, until chance or fate, or who knows what, lets one of them die in our own backyard, reminding us that even in our own isolation, we are more connected than we ever dreamed. But do you have any idea who the woman was, Mr. Morland? We never saw her before. You both found the body? No, I thought I heard him shout, and I ran outside. I thought... What? I don't know what I thought. Did you get a look at the body? I had a look at her. It was nobody we know. Yes, sir. All right, did you hear anything, any noise? Hello? I came as soon as I got your call. What happened? A woman was killed. I found her body in the yard. This is Detective O'Brien, Jim Bone, and... Meadows. Detective Meadows, Joseph Dominic. Mr. Dominic is our attorney. And a good friend. Where are we so far? We were just asking if they'd heard anything. No, nothing. We just walked out into the yard. He just went to the shed to get some firewood. Yes, we uh, were having company for the weekend. I wanted to see if we had enough. And I saw her. So we ran inside and called you people. We appreciate your uh, cooperating with us, Mr. Morland. No, we've lived here for four years, Detective O'Brien. Nothing like this has happened before. Well, that's the way it should be, isn't it? If you can think of anything, there's a number for you to call. Thanks very much. Mrs. Moreland seems rather upset. Do you have any idea how long your people are going to be here? About another hour or so. They don't need to come back in the house, though. I appreciate that. Gentlemen. Oh, Miss Meadows. Nice meeting you. Actually, we've already met. I don't see how I could have forgotten. Well, it was about five or six years ago. My sister and brother-in-law were adopting, and I came by the office one day with her. And their name is? You were a little too expensive for them. Well, they did get their baby, I hope. Yes, just last year. Things have a way of working out. I'm happy for them. Thank you. Uh, off limits. I'm a reputable journalist. Uh, well, are they not involved? You're pretty upset, Tommy. There's nothing in there for you anyway. Who found the body? They did. Can you imagine coming home and finding something like that in your backyard? Better than not finding it till spring. What if she is his real mother? 
natural mother, Bonnie. You are his real mother. Don't ever let yourself forget that. In any case, I can assure you that Edward Roberts' natural mother lives nowhere near here. It was a mistake, wasn't it? Not telling the police about what that woman said. Why didn't you? I was afraid. And so many adoptions have fallen through. Miscarriages. I thought with a hearing tomorrow they might postpone it and I just couldn't stand any more delays. Perhaps you're right. In any case, there's no harm done. I'm sure she was just a deranged woman. Why would someone kill her? With any luck, the police will get to the bottom of it and you'll have your answer. Or we may never know. Can you give me that again? Nothing but change in her pockets. No laundry tags, no store labels. What a pathetic way to die. No, that's okay. No guarantee on the spelling, but I think I got it. Thanks. Hey, there's something in here. Hmm? That was the medical examiner. Our DOA died of a massive wound to the back of the head. It says it could have been from a fall. Except. Except? There was a contusion to the cheek with no discoloration. And the scratch didn't even have a chance to bleed. Someone might have hit her or slapped her before she fell. Which is what killed her. And get this. She had a baby five or six weeks ago. Baby. Hotel key. Oh, my God. What if there's a little baby in there all by himself? Let's go. Most guests don't want nothing to do with you, but except hollering about how you're running things. But she was OK. She had real good manners. That's why I remembered her name, Sandra Conrad. She always had a hello and a goodbye. Do you know if she had a baby? Baby? Here. You make babies here. Who the hell would bring a baby into a dump like this, anyway? Uh, listen, uh, I don't know that I should open it, you know. Uh... She's dead, pal. Just open it. You mind waiting out in the hall a minute? Thanks. She was from Winter Lake. Didn't take much from home, did she? Here's some booties. So where's the baby? Take a look at this. Bookmark in the Bible. Six West Yardley Road. That's the Mormon house. The Mormons didn't know her. It sure as hell looks like she knew them. What's going on? I thought you were finished here. So did we. I think you and your wife weren't entirely honest with us. What? We told you everything. Excuse me. If you have any business, your address was found among the dead woman's personal effects. This is preposterous. What is that supposed to mean? It means there's something going on here that the Morelands aren't telling us about. I think you'd be better off leveling with us, Mrs. Moreland. I... I didn't know her. I don't know what you want with us. What about you, Mr. Warren? The first time I saw her was when I found her body in the yard. I told you that. I don't know why she had our address. Counselor, would you advise your client about the consequences of interfering with a police investigation? There are also consequences for harassing innocent people, O'Brien. Please, just... just stop this. Mr. Dominic, I appreciate what you're trying to do. She said she was going to take my baby. They're going to take our baby. They're going to take him away. Take what baby away? Mr. and Mrs. Moreland are adopting a baby. The final hearing is tomorrow. How old is this child? Five weeks. The medical examiner says the dead woman, Sandra Conrad, had a baby five weeks ago. No, that woman wasn't his mother. Mr. Dominic, please tell them she was his. Bonnie, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Sandra Conrad was a patient at the shelter. But her baby was born dead. About a month ago. Somehow, she must have got your name. She must have gotten mixed up in her head that Edward Robert was her child. Wasn't she told that her child died? She wasn't very stable, poor girl. 
stronger women than her have been unable to accept something like that. Are you sure her baby wasn't ours? Mr. Dominic, are you sure? Absolutely. <sighs> it's all a matter of record. As you can see, this is the death certificate for Sandra Conrad's baby. Absolutely no connection with the child the Morelands are adopting. Mm. Could we see a copy of the birth certificate for the Moreland baby? I'm afraid that's impossible. Mr. Dominic, this is a homicide investigation. I don't have it. What do you mean you don't have it? You worked on this, didn't you? The Moreland baby was born on the other end of the continent. His mother went into family court there and satisfied a judge that she was surrendering her baby willingly and freely. This is an order from that judge authorizing putting up the baby for adoption. This doesn't give the mother's name. They never do. So if we wanted to find out uh, where... You the... would go into this court and convince this judge to open the file. It's virtually never done. The mother can't find out where her baby went. The Morelands can't find out where it came from. I dare say 20 years from now, when the child himself tries to find out who his mother was, he won't have any more luck than you would. The laws protecting the confidentiality of an adoption are very strict, as you well know from your sister's case. Do you have any idea how Sandra Conrad got the Moreland's address? Files are locked. I suppose accidents are always possible. On the other hand, Bonnie was at my office this afternoon. Sandra might have followed her. Why her? She had an infant of the right age. She had him with her. I wish I could be more helpful. Oh, you've been a great help. Thank you very much. these girls come from? All over. They've heard about the shelter. A community organization or their church may have sent them. And you put them up? Medical care, food and shelter, and we help place their babies. For a ton of money, right? That fee her sister couldn't afford. I'm good at what I do. My fees are not inconsiderable. How much does the girl get out of it? Not a cent. The law doesn't permit it. That would be like buying babies. So what do you do if a girl decides to keep a baby? That's all right, of course. There isn't much I can do, except tell them the facts, help them face the reality of their situation. What reality is that? Most of them have nothing to offer these children except their life of disease and drugs. The plain fact is there are some people who are better off not being parents. It still must be hard to give up your baby. Oh, come now, detective. You must see the results of this kind of misplaced sentimentality every day in your work. Sentimentality. I bet you were humming a different tune when your sister's adoption went through. Oh, that is crass, Frank. Really crass. That's the first time I've ever heard the word crass in here. Only somebody who would say, how much do the mothers get out of all this would ever say something like that. That was a legitimate question. Yeah, if money's the only thing that matters. You know, there are some people in this world to whom money is not the only thing that matters. I don't think money's the only thing that matters. You're not a good example. Listen. My sister and brother-in-law were this close to getting an adoption, and the whole thing fell through because the mother decided to keep the baby. And they weren't upset? What are they, saints? I didn't say they were saints. Of course they were upset, but they understood. Then they must have been saints. Oh, God. What the hell is going on? Nothing, we'll just talk. No, no, Frankie, this is talking. Now that we got this little adoption issue settled and all the ramifications worked out to everybody's mutual satisfaction, then maybe, just maybe, we might get back to the homicide investigation. Look, I was just now, trying to say that I was... Now! To... Come on, you know the rules. Let's go. died when I got your message. I didn't think you'd do Look, I, I was scared. I 
didn't know which way to turn. Well, it's too late, Gary. It's way too late. No. It, it's not. What are you saying? Gary? I, uh... I want you... I want you to keep the baby. You want me to keep the baby? Yeah. Don't you think if I could, I would? No, I, I mean, I want us to keep the baby. I want you. You can't just... I made a mistake, damn it. Why is it too late? Oh, my God, Gary. I love you. It's not too late. It's not too late. One of the girls snuck out. Valerie. I just knew I couldn't go through with giving her away. You won't have to. But how can I get to take care of myself? That wouldn't be fair. I'll take good care of both of you. You'll see. She said so right. I was alone. Uh, so stupid. What can I give her? I guess I got a hell of a lot to make up for, don't I? You love me? Yeah. Well, just love her, too. That's all, Gary. That's all you have to do. I keep saying her. Do I? <laughs> Feels like a her. I gotta go now. Hey, where are you going? And what do you got in there? A couple of dresses? Let's just spread. I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. After that, I'll call you. You can come pick me up. Okay. Bye. think you're going? I'm tired. I'm going to bed. You've got some questions to answer, young lady. Who did you meet? I didn't meet anyone. Look at me when you answer my ask. Did you meet? I didn't meet anyone. Who would I meet in this guy? Don't you lie to me, you cheap little trap. You met him, didn't you? The lousy bum that got you like this in the first place. You were gonna run away with him, weren't you, huh? No! Don't lie to me. You look at me. You just came back to get your things, didn't you? You promised to come after you ran away, didn't you? I don't want to give up my baby, Mr. Dominic. I want to keep my baby. It's too late for that, Valerie. It's not too late! <laughs> We've been over all this before, Valerie. Do we have to go over it all again? Do you have any idea how much money I spent keeping you here and taking care of you? Huh? Too much. I can never repay you. Oh, yes, you can, Valerie. How? How? Why don't you find a nice home for my baby with someone who wants it? And? I can take care of it. You promised. What kind of a life is this baby going to have with you? No one. He'd be wretched and poor and wind up as rotten as me. Are you that selfish? Then maybe I should let you go. Is that what you want? I don't know. Is he going to marry you? Is that it? Yeah. He's going to marry me. Do you 
believe whatever they tell you. That's how you got like this. How long do you think he's gonna stay married to you? Do you think anybody's gonna have you after he leaves? You're gonna have your stinking little baby in the gutter where the two of you belong. Is that what you want, Valerie? No. no. Please don't send me away. No, no, no. You don't worry. Nobody's gonna send you away. Nobody's gonna send you away. Yeah, I know it's been a long time. It'd be good to see you, too. It's not like an auction, Tom. If a kid doesn't have any parents, or so the parents can't take care of him any longer, he should go to the most suitable couple, not the highest bidder. I don't know. I mean, who's to say what makes a suitable couple? Intelligence? Education? Experience? And if you don't know, I think you should go with the highest bidder. Does this go on all the time in here? Yes. Yeah, it gets worse. Well, maybe we should just make adoptions like auctions. Well, as long as we have a guy like Joseph Dominic to conduct them, we will. Wait a minute, that's not fair. I mean, my sister couldn't afford it. But that's not saying that what he does isn't valuable. Oh, and they don't resent the fact that other people get babies faster because they have money? Well, they resent it all right. But if they'd had the money, they sure as hell would have paid it. <sighs> Same old story. Fair is only when you're at the top of the list. All right, well, we'll see you in a bit. Let's move, Kevin. Where are you two going? I'm gonna go visit my sister. Your move. Lucky me. I didn't know he had a sister. He doesn't. I'm always bad to see you, Francis. I just don't know how much I can do it. So you said on the phone that you've dealt with Joseph Dominic in the past, sister? Many times. Each one a pleasant experience. I don't have to tell you how often a girl will find herself pregnant and not consider any option other than abortion. Mr. Dominic gives her that other option. Well, what's the difference between Mr. Dominic and other lawyers and agencies that do adoptions? You mean, why is he so much more expensive? You don't have to throw your punches at me, Francis. Okay, someone told me he charges $25,000. There are people with the means to pay who want children and can't have them. With Mr. Dominic's help, they can. But there are agencies, places that don't cost that much, yes? Many that are free, and most charge far less than Mr. Dominic. But no one seems to get the results that he does. Well, how can that be? I imagine he has to ask Mr. Dominic and his people about that. Sister, if a girl changes her mind about putting her baby up for adoption, do you let her do that? Let her? We encourage her in every way we can, Detective O'Brien. You think there are some people who would be better off not being parents? You ever stop hoping? If a girl turns around enough to want her baby, then perhaps it's a sign that she'll find the strength and the wisdom to raise him. Sister, so, you've been a big help. Thank you very much. Thank you. By the way, Francis, we will be seeing you at Mass on Sunday, won't we? Oh, it's his day off, sister. Francis will be there. Thanks, sister. She sure has a different outlook than Mr. Dominic. And I don't work for the same guy, Frank. Oh, small oh, world. Oh, 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 he's he's just here. Ah, I see the guy, okay? So I get out of my car and I start chasing him all over the place. I finally get him in an alleyway, okay? And there he is. I got him cornered. Mm -hmm. All right, and there I got him cornered. And this guy's bad. I mean, he's really bad. He's tough. Uh, he's a lot tougher than that. All right, he's that tough, okay? So he starts chasing me, and I don't know, I have anywhere to go. But am I scared? You sure look scared, Uncle Whitey. Whitey, you never told me you were an uncle. Hey, hey, they all call me uncle here, okay? I'm telling you, Claudio, I wasn't scared. I was just trying to fool her, you know? Uh, you know why? Why? Because I'm a smart crime buster, and smart crime busters always make sure they have a backup. The end of the line for you, sweetheart. <laughs> and for you, too. Hey, 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 Jambon. How's she gonna serve ice cream like that? Well, we'll both serve. Yeah, no problem. See, that's what happens. I get the guys, he gets the girls. Quick. You never call. Can you get 
said you, Barry. I can't go, Gary. It happened already. And the baby. They induced her. They said they didn't, but I know they did. Where is he? Come on, out of here, all of you. Where's our baby? Come on, let's go. Where's our baby? Where's our baby, Valerie? It's better this way. I'll find it a nice home. Hell, it will. You think Dominic's involved? What's the damn angle? $25,000 a kid. He does 100 adoptions. It's a cool two and a half grand, right? Well, that's one hell of a big business. And there he is, Mr. Dominic. Detective O'Brien, good to see you. Is this a happy coincidence, or were you looking for me? We just have a few more questions we'd like to ask you. I see. Well, if this is about the Moreland baby, yes. I'm afraid I've told you everything I'm legally allowed to disclose. It's about you, Mr. Dominic. Really? When you got to the Moreland's house, you said, and I quote, I came as soon as I got your call, right? That's correct. Bonnie Moreland called me when... When Mr. Moreland found the dead body of a woman they had never seen. Now, why would they call you, who are exclusively an adoption attorney, Mr. Dominic? Yes, I wondered about that at the time. But of course we have our answer now, don't we? The Morelands were lying when they said they'd never seen the Conrad woman before. She accosted Mrs. Moreland at a shopping mall, I believe she said. That was at least an hour before they found the body. Now, don't you find that strange? A woman accosts Mrs. Moreland, demands her baby back, and then Mrs. Moreland waits until that woman is dead before she calls you. Perhaps it is, but that's all I have to say. I don't see what difference it makes. Well, we're just trying to figure out how much time passed by after you found out about Sandra Conrad and before you got to the house. You're treading on very shaky ground, Detective. I have a certain standing in this community. If I wanted to, I could throw some heat into your department. <laughs> tries to kill him. Let's see if we can find out what in the hell is going on with Dominic's baby factory. You got something specific in mind? Well, he showed us the death certificate for Sandra Conrad's baby. See what you can find out about that, Freddy. Maybe the dead boy's family knows a little something, Cole? Kevin, why is Joseph Dominic still being held in my office? Because we still got some questions to ask, Molly. I already have a statement. There's going to be a full inquest, but from where I'm sitting, it's self-defense, pure and simple. Well, it's not quite as pure and simple for me. I got a leftover homicide on my hands. I want to find out how he figures in it. If he figures in it. You want to give me a hand? The baby the Morlands are adopting? Adoption records are sealed. There's nothing I can do. Try. I know what I'm going to find out. Humor me. Mr. Dominic. Detective, I'm tired. I've been shot. When am I going to be permitted to go home? Well, just as soon as we start putting the pieces of the puzzle about you and your shelter together. You were there, damn it. You saw the whole stupid thing. Total stranger comes up and shoots him. He may have had something on his mind, but while you were letting him shoot me, he didn't happen to say what it was. And you made sure he never would. I won't even answer that. You apparently have some theory about this case, but I'm afraid you're going to have to prove it without my help. Don't worry, Mr. Dominic. We're going to do just that. Send him home, Frank. He never really was a bad boy. Just kind of heedless, you know? I like getting that girl pregnant. You got a girl pregnant, Mr. Malone? Now, he was going to do the right thing by her. I mean, it just took him a while to get around to it. No son of mine would ever leave a girl like that. Giving up my grandchild. She was going to put the baby up for adoption. What else could she do? She was a sweet girl. She lived next door from the time she was about that high. So do you know where she went to? Yeah, she checked herself into a shelter. Uh, 
someplace called uh, Fairlane House. The Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. Boy, a lot of good that does me. Here you go, darling. Let's see if your new mommy makes you feel better. Oh, she's so tiny. She's so beautiful. Are you happy, honey? Oh, I love her so much already. Elsa, are you alone? It's all right. I can talk. Is the baby still there? Uh, they're taking her away now. Good. Tell them to go back to the hotel. I'll bring them the papers there. As soon as they're gone, you've got to get Valerie out of there. Give her some money, whatever it takes. Just get her out of town. I don't understand. Where am I going? Where am I going? Just wrap this cup around yourself. I... And we'll talk along the way. Yeah. That, come on, child. Don't make me go. Where are you taking me? Where's my baby? Kevin, your government had a pregnant girlfriend. Name's Valerie Jordan. Let me guess, Dominic's got her at his shelter, right? You got it. We're on the way. Thanks, Cole. Can I ask you a question first? Ask away. I think I signed something. In fact, I know I did. Dr. Chan to reception. Does that mean I can't get my baby back? Did you sign it voluntarily? No. And it doesn't matter what you sign. Valerie, you're going to have to help us find your baby. I want you to tell us everything they did to you, everything that went on in that shelter. Anything. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't gotten there when you did. I was so scared. Did Gary send you to find me? Gary wasn't the only one who wanted us to find you, Valerie. Now, why don't we start at the beginning? Do you remember how you first heard of Joseph Dominic? I went to this place to find out about an abortion. I didn't want to have one. I, I just wanted to know what my choices were. And this lady there told me about him. She said he helped hundreds of girls like me decide what to do. You wouldn't believe it, Lieutenant. You know that doctor who signed the death certificate on Sandra Conrad's baby? Did you talk to him? For all of about two minutes. He's 84 years old, Lieutenant. He hasn't practiced in 20 years. He'd have signed his bathrobe if I'd asked him to. Well, that figures. I just got off the phone with the judge whose signature was on the papers for the Moreland's baby. Well, let me guess. He wouldn't tell you where the baby came from. He couldn't. He never signed them. Obviously forged. Then that is Sandra Conrad's baby. She wouldn't give it up. So Dominic told her it had died, and he doctored up a phony set of papers to explain where it came from. When you're charging that kind of money, you damn well better deliver. Well, we damn well better find Valerie Jordan's baby before it happens again. Now, you can't get anything out of that, Elsa woman? I couldn't until now.
told you I don't want to talk to anyone until I've... We know about the death certificates and the court papers, Elsa. We already talked to a doctor who remembers signing everything and a judge who knows he didn't sign anything. There's no one to protect Elsa. You're way over your head. Why don't you do yourself some good? What kind of good? Get Valerie's baby back where she belongs. It might get you some points. Well, that one's gone. An out-of-town couple are taking it. Dominic is delivering the papers now. They're going home. Where? That hotel on Hamilton. The big one. Just put their bags in the car and tell the driver to wait. As soon as you get home, file these with your local family court and get a date for a hearing. Will our lawyer know what to do? Absolutely. From here on, it's just routine. I could go over each of these with you if you want. Please. This is the affidavit from the mother, saying she gives up her baby of her own free will. These are the birth certificates. That's self-explanatory. This is the psychiatrist's report on the mother. Basically, it says he doesn't think she's capable of caring for a child. Well. Doesn't your plane leave shortly? Oh, about an hour. Well, then you better go. If your lawyer has any questions, just have him call me, but I'm sure there won't be any problem. Thank you very much, Mr. Dominic. Goodbye. Mr. Dominic, I, I can't find the words to ever thank you enough. I have to tell you, when I first heard what your fee was, I thought that sounded kind of steep. Now, if you were to ask me for ten times... The important thing is that a little girl no one wanted has found a good home with people who love her. Come on, you're gonna miss your plane. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. I do for you, gentlemen. We gotta stop playing games, Mr. Dominic. It's over. You shouldn't have lied to us. Elsa took the call from Mrs. Moreland. Sandra Conrad was still alive, and she was still alive when you got to the house. I only wanted to talk to her, tell her she was making a mistake. She got hysterical. I didn't mean to hurt her, you know. I only wanted to do what was best for the children. What did I do wrong? Mr. Dominic, you killed two people. What was the Lord thinking? Letting poor misfits like Valerie and Sandra Conrad have babies while responsible couples pray for children and are denied. It doesn't make sense. In a rational world, only those with the wisdom and the means to raise them would be blessed with offspring. Somebody should have thought of that. Joseph Dominic did. Hi. We brought you something. They found us out at the airport. And uh, they told us what happened to you. We thought you didn't want her. Oh, we never would have done that. Say it. 
my husband and I thought, well, since you're going to be in the hospital a few days, I'm going to take care of her. We've got a nice room for her. And you too, if you'd like. 